guys welcome back to the phone gap video tutorial today i'm going to show you how we can uh, uh, add the console plugin to our project okay by default uh, for the latest uh, latest phone gap project you cannot uh, see the log uh, working by default because they have removed the console plugin uh, from the default project so uh, whenever you need to use the uh, log functionality then you have to use the console plugin okay uh, here i have created a project and uh, let me add the uh, console plugin so the project is right so cordova plugin add apache dot cordova dot console right, it's a fetching and uh, yeah it's done installing and done okay uh, if you check your project uh, there is a tagging and www section and after that in the plugin section here you can see the Cordova console plugin right lots of functions out there but normally uh, we're gonna use a very simple a method that is the log method okay these are the different different uh, functions available this is the console.log console.error warning info right debug assert Assert will stop your project at the time. Okay, now uh, I'm just using the here. Console dot log. This is log. Run your application, and uh, you can find uh, the log. At the bottom of your project or uh, if you don't know where it comes from then just click over here you will get the section or also you can uh, click from here also right this is log if I tried the uh, other function so it should be info then uh, just set it to info okay uh, this is not uh, executing because information will be just passed passed on right I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, let me uh, use another one uh, suppose I'm using a for loop okay for where i equals to 0 i is less than 10 then i plus plus and I'm gonna show console dot log that is i okay this will print all the console information over here 0 to 9 right uh, at that time you can also use the different different uh, tracking uh, points uh, where you can find uh, the actual uh, execution line by line execution of your project okay or you can also uh, log the uh, particular user actions uh, like uh, if user clicks on a login button then you can uh, track your log like uh, login button press or uh, uh, you get the response or the uh, sign up completions login completion like that okay so you do not need to find your code uh, while tracking your application right guys yeah uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel till then bye bye